Do they sell those here? Can I buy some of those brushes? On the other side. Yeah, those are handy little tools. Yeah. It's our next expenditure on our list for our studios to get a drum cart, which is on a, a drum. Yeah. Electric one. Yeah. Why don't you Why don't you uh, do this? Yeah, you know, I can mix results. Is what silk or cotton and wool? She felted the wool onto the cotton, and this is crocheted. Just and look at this one. This one is silk. This one is silk. This one's nice. It's a double layer of wool on both sides. And how much does this sell for? This is three hundred. 380. It's just so light and soft. These are just some of her scarves. <coughs> Love this one with the butterflies. That's the back. That's the front. And then look at this one with all the holes in it. It's so cool. Everything is just really light. And I just love this one. Let's go back over and see the felting demonstration. Okay, so she's just leaning. When I had long hair cats, I could have done this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have to tell you, I've got a, a Malamute who, this spring, she shed so copiously. There was one day where she let me actually brush her for 45 minutes. Wow. And I, I had... <laughs> What'd you do with it? Well, I had so much at once, I thought, no. Did you felt it? How did it come out? <laughs> what happened? It sheds. Is it this? It's still shed. It sheds. It sheds. It's really it. Because it doesn't have a long, long staple. Well, it doesn't have a long, not long enough. Some of it, what, what the part that really felt it well was that really um, kind of almost sticky under fur. But then it had the top guard hairs, which you have on sheep too, but so much of the dog. The shiny hairs, those real coarse ones, that still felt. So I have this mat, this little mat, this little gray mat, that's all felted with these. No! They're sticking up, they just kind of fall off, just like the dog. They just kind of fall off, you know. But I actually found a character for her name. She's named Toko, which means actually means boy. She was very boy. She's a puppy, so we called her Toko. It's a she, but she's a boy. A Toko boy. So it's she. So I was going to make it into a purse for my daughter. And that would have been so funny. You know, here's a purse for my daughter. Well, you could make anything out of it because I just didn't shed it. So and it was laying on the table, and she went up to it, and she was like this, and she pulled it up. And she uh, of course. It she started rolling it. Of course. It was her. So my cat would my cat would love it. That's weird. It's her little mat. I bet my cat would love that. They'd roll around and roll around and okay, so. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. That is so cool. I love that. That you know that you need it. Yeah, I just know. I'm, I'm not used to talking while I'm working here. I'm usually doing it alone. He also was playing plastic craft as opposed to bubble wrap. No. Okay, you have to use bubble wrap. What's the texture? The reason you're using the bubble wrap is for the bubbles, actually. Okay. So there's a. Can you use big bubbles or just little bubbles? The reason we're using the bubble wrap now sometimes you can use bamboo shades. Well, so watch the pins, they just fell off. I just lay them up there, sorry. Let me put that back too. I'm at the Fiber Arts Festival at Los Ranchos de Galadrina. Excuse me, these are paintings made out of felt. This is solar cover, which has got a bigger bubble. But it's, um, but it helps, I take it, with the texture. Yeah, you, well, it's the, you, want, you want the whole thing to be moving. Once we start rolling it, you'll see that you want, you want this kind of thing happening so that 
the fibers start to move around and intermingle once we put the water up. Can you, is it just the little bubble wrap or is it just a big bubble wrap? Well, I use this as a demonstration because I use big pieces. I use, we're also going to be using. Oh, wow, the little noodles. Really? Yeah, the noodles. Yeah, the noodles. The pool noodles. <laughs> I have those. I've cut I them up. Ones. I cut them in half. I cut them up for like laying on them. And what do you, sore. what do you, is that a sleeve? Like what would you use that for? You will see it. Okay. Really short period of time. So it's kind of like up. Just like in the yellow one here. So. Yeah, that's so happy. Yeah, happy. Yeah. It works as the rolling pin, I assume. That noodle. Well, I, st I actually had, I have a really old-fashioned, really huge rolling pin that's bigger than this. Longer than this And I started using that when I first started. And it doesn't work as well. This works the best. Plus, you get so tired with it. That, this is lighter, and it probably gives it gives a little bit because it's right. right. So you could use PVC pipe instead of that. There's, and, you know, every, every book you find on felting, has a just slightly different set of materials that you use. Everyone's got a slightly different way to do it. So I'm using another, you know, another really expensive tool here. <laughs> is that you water? That down? Is so, that so this is you use for one gallon of water you use about a tablespoon of a this is ivory liquid. I use sometimes Dr. Bronner's um, any you know, you don't want a really nasty detergent but any soap that's the, the better soaps are the ones that have the higher fat content. I will also be using a little bit of kiss my face soap in bar form. And so, what's the proportion again? It's for one gallon of water, one tablespoon of soap, or a scant tablespoon of soap. And I think it, depending on how hard your water is, you, you have to adjust that. You don't want it to be too. But once we start working with this, we'll see if it's. If it's too soapy, too sudsy, that's not good. Just to so I just I'm wetting it down. I, I usually cover it with this first, but before I start rubbing it, I use netting, or sometimes I have polyester organdy that I use. This helps to keep it in place. Yesterday I'd forgotten this, and I did the Nuno felting without it. But oh, really? It's better with it. So then another really expensive piece of equipment. <laughs> It works better than I tried all sorts of things. Don't now, break some, that now. <laughs> some, yeah, exactly. How many bags in there? <laughs> Just kidding. That was a good question. Uh, I just want to get the, I want to get the look. So it has to be fairly wet. Yeah. Drenched. Wet felting. Really oh. great to do in the summer. Not so great in the winter, but it's cold. Yeah, yeah. One year my... My uh, heat went out of my house just before a big show, and I was uh, felting with all this water, and it was freezing in my, oh my house, goodness. and I was just, it was like this kind of oh my stuff. word. But it's fun in the summer. So are you, you're stuff. really pressing down there? Yeah, I'm really pressing down. I, I, want, it, I want the water to really... see the bubbles. Yeah, <laughs> and it's because I... This may probably has the formation of a of the fabric. And what is this, Mary? This what is, is this? Just, just tool. Tool. Yeah. Just tool. tool. Yeah. tool. Thank you. I can get the rest of so Don't be afraid to use a lot of that. Then. Yeah, no. If, if there's too much water in it, there's a certain point at the end when I get it on the bowl where I'll just drain it off. Mm -hmm. But um, especially, this is not the Nuno method. This just with the wool alone. Is that warm water you have coming no, out of there? No, no. It could have been. For this method, you can use water at this point. So even cold would work for this? Yeah, it, we have to heat this whole oh. thing at a certain point. Okay. What's this thing? This is um, Kiss My Face. Oh, that's the soap. That's the Kiss My Face. Soap. And this is just, I just think it makes a better, faster felt because it's so oily. So mm. it, gets, it gets the fibers to open up because they, there's so much lanolin in it, kind of. Uh -huh. I don't know why sense. exactly. Because it's been washed out when they fixed, when they did yeah. the washing of the yarn. Yeah. So it's a kiss my face olive oil yeah, soap? So okay. Yeah, it's right in there. You need it for whole foods or um, carried away, you know, whatever you have.